I've done so much content around finding implicit conversion warnings or finding sort warnings, etc. Never even thought about doing something related to a join warning. And then it came up to my mind, okay, we have this no predicate join warning. Sounds uh, very simple, but sometimes what I think is simple may not be simple for everyone. So here is a very quick demo to talk about the no predicate join warning. Let's first get down to the demo and talk more about that. So we are using AdventureWorks 2016 uh, as always. Let's free the proc cache because I want to run a workload and uh, create this warning and then want to find out this plan from the plan cache. So just to remove out all the noise, let's go and execute this. Now we do not have any plans in the plan cache. Here is a query, a very simple query. Select star from person dot person comma person dot address type. Now, look at this query. We have these two tables, person dot person and person dot address type, and they are separated by a comma. So this is a typical ANSI SQL syntax where we are doing a cross join. So this is equivalent to person dot person cross join person dot address type. In um, in SQL world and you know in set theory, this is what we mean by Cartesian product, which is the number of rows in table A will be joined with the number of rows in the table two. The final output is going to be this count multiplied by this count. So this is like in set theory, you have two sets and a Cartesian product is the number of possible pairs that could be generated. Now this video is not about set theory and Cartesian product, etc. But the point is you are joining two tables without a predicate. Typically when you write queries like these, of course you put down a predicate, your join condition. Now there is no join condition here. So for small tables, this might just be okay. But then otherwise, if tables are just relatively larger, then this query turns out to be very, very expensive. Think about a table with just like, you know, um, something like 200,000 records each. So 200,000 multiplied by 200,000. I'm just making it up. Uh, that gives you a huge number and SQL Server will take a lot of time to generate those pairs. It's a Cartesian product, very expensive CPU wise. So uh, let's uh, do this. Let's go and execute this. Now we'll turn on the actual execution plan. And even though these two uh, tables are relatively smaller, I want to show you the number right away. So person.person dot person has about 19,972 records and address type has just six records. So the total number of rows that we are going to get is 9972 into six. And here we get the output. If you look at the bottom right status bar there, you will see that the total number of records here, 119832 and it has taken about 18 seconds, right? 18 seconds to execute, 17 there, which is fine. Now look at, okay, let's go and jump over to the execution plan first. So if you go to the execution plan, you will see that this is all good, but look at nested loop operator. You will see that there is a symbol out there, something like cross. Um, typically when you have warnings, there is an, uh, there is that, uh, you know, triangle with exclamation mark, a yellow triangle with exclamation mark. But this one uh, is an exception. You Here you have a cross and if you take a cursor over this red cross, it will give you no join predicate. That's the warning. Now, what I was trying to call out is the total number of rows in these two tables, which is 9972 into six, which gives you the exact count. 119832 Cartesian product. Okay. Now that you know this query is bad and you have got the warning, time to find out all the plans in the execution plan that have this warning. Anyway, this stored procedure that I have written actually finds out all the plans from the plan cache that have a warning. So this one should also show up. Let's go and execute this. And yes, we cleared off the plan cache. So we are not getting too many uh, results, but we got the one that we wanted. This is our query that we just ran. That's the plan handle. And here is the execution plan. 
very very useful from a performance tuning perspective to find out all the plans that have some or the other kind of warning and then you want to take corrective actions you want to figure out why the warning happened what has gone wrong be it implicit conversion sort warning no joint predicate warning etc okay all good let's go and close this so i hope you like this quick demo where you could focus on warnings that are generated and figure the, figuring them out from the plan cache and of course this one was specifically talking about no join predicate warning happy sequel if you like the content give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos most importantly visit sequelmaestros.com there's a lot of sequel learning resources out there video courses master classes lab kits ebooks blogs hands on labs and a lot more follow us on twitter at the red sequel maestros and myself a underscore bunsel last but not the least do subscribe to our newsletters see you soon in another video goodbye